a naive question from a, from a, a, a newcomer in, um, in a DNS. Um, will DNS signing um, require in some way a change to the um, user application software uh, at some point? Or is this only internal to the, the tree of the DNS servers from the local server to the root server? Like that, uh, the question seems to be directed in that direction. Um, uh, you're asking actually uh, d uh, a quite relevant and important question, and let me play it back for you to make sure that we have it. Uh, you're asking in the process of deploying uh, DNSSEC, uh, will there need to be changes to the user's uh, software? Where or are the changes entirely within the interior of the system? And um, the um, the answer is, is sort of a classic "it depends" kind of answer. But I um, let me try to to give you a comfortable version of that answer. Um, the vast majority of the use of DNSSEC will take place um, with zones that are signed on the one hand, and the checking process carried out by recursive resolvers that are operating either at ISPs or at the um, uh, boundary um, of uh, major enterprises who are running their own recursive resolvers. And uh, without any impact on the end user software. The end user software will make a query that goes to the recursive resolver. The recursive resolver will uh, request an answer and uh, it provide either a yes or no, either a give back an answer or it says it couldn't find it, just as it does today. Uh, it is also part of the protocol that end user software can control explicitly uh, the answer that comes back by saying to the recursive resolver, don't bother checking this on my behalf or if you do check it, uh, that's fine, but give me back all the data so that I too can check it. So it is entirely uh, accessible for those end users or, the, or end user software that has evolved um, to desire to make use of that. But the, uh, the importance of your question is that it is not a 